David knew how to reach God. David knew how to touch God. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord God. Because it was said that David was a man after God's own heart. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord God. And the Bible tells us, amen, that David, amen, was a worshiper. Amen. Glory be to God. He was a worshiper. And the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. So David, amen, said that I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Glory be to God. David had made up in his mind no matter what he was going through with, no matter what trials that he was going through with, because at times David was troubled on every side. Hallelujah. The king was after David to even take his life, but David still said, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. God wants us to make up our minds, hallelujah, to bless him at all times. Regardless if you're dealing with that rebellious child. Re regardless if you're in this marriage that's messed up. Regardless if you don't have any money in your pocket. Regardless, regardless, hallelujah, if you don't have a job and you're jobless. I will bless the Lord at all times. Okay. See, David had made up in his mind. I will bless the Lord. At all time. His praises. Hallelujah. We got to learn to give praises to God. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord God. You know when we. Hallelujah. Don't give praises to God. We are exalting the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But David said I won't do that. I'm going to give my praises to God. Because he's worthy to be praised. And, and verse 3 says. Oh my. Uh, verse 2 say, my soul, read that Angelisa. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Everybody ain't going to be glad. Uh-huh. David was letting you know everybody ain't going to be glad. When you're praising God to get your breakthrough, hallelujah. When you're serving God to get your breakthrough, hallelujah. Everybody is not going to be glad. He said, but the humble, hallelujah, shall hear thereof. Hallelujah. The humble people, them have, amen, that have not lifted up themselves in pride. They are the ones that are continually praise God. They are continuously not blame God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Glory to God. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. He identified the ones that are going to be glad. Hallelujah. You see, the Lord resists the proud and he adds more grace to the humble. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And this is what David's saying. I know if you lift it up in pride, you're not going to praise God with me. I know if you lift it up in, in pride, you're not going to try to magnify God with me. Now go ahead and read verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. We need to start getting on one accord, magnifying God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. We need to be talking about God. We need to be making God's name big. We need to be making him the big God that he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. He's a big God. He's an almighty God. Hallelujah. He's El Shaddai. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And we need to see him as a big and powerful God. David said, magnify him with me. Let us. Amen. Let us. We ain't got time to talk about the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, 
Lord God. Every time you mention the enemy, you give him a point. Because he's sitting there laughing. Oh, I got him talking about me now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. But you should spend that time talking about the Lord and making him exalted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Magnify me to make big. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Let us. Hallelujah. Let us. I like that. David was not just amen, glory be to God, one to glorify himself. He said, let us. Hallelujah. He involved you, the ones that are humble. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Because he knows that when the praises go up, the blessings come down. So he was trying to get people to magnify God with them, with him. So not only he could be blessed, amen, but they could be blessed. Hallelujah. You know, Moses was a humble man of God. Hallelujah. God said he was the meekest one at that time. Hallelujah. That was on earth. That's what the word of God said. In one scripture. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Moses was humble. Hallelujah. And when Moses went up on the mountain, hallelujah, glory be to God, and, and he stayed up there so long, the people began to sin against God. Hallelujah. And God, amen, told Moses that, get down from this mountain and go to them people. I'm about to destroy all of them. Hallelujah. I'm paraphrasing that, but that's what God said. I'm about to destroy them because they are sinful people. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And God told Moses, say, I'm going to destroy them and make of you a great nation. But that didn't go to Moses' head. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. He said, God. He said, well, what are they going to say about you? He was interested in, amen, making God's name great and big among the people. Hallelujah. He was not interested in being a big nation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He said, now, God, if you do that and you destroy these people, they are going to say you weren't able to bring them into the promised land. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. We got to be big. We got to 